You use the environment background switcher to display a background different than the one used to project reflections. This method is helpful when introducing slight variations between a background and scene reflections. This can be useful when you need reflections on scene objects to be slightly more blurred than the background itself. Typically, you specify a render background in the environment dialog. Often, use a bitmap in that channel. The best environments are made of panoramic images. High dynamic range HDR images work best, but you can also use low dynamic range images such as JPEGs. Panorama background needs to be mapped differently than a single still picture. This is done by instancing the background into the material editor and changing some of its values. First, ensure that Hue's real-world scale is off. You may need to temporarily switch to texture mode when doing so. If using a spherical panorama, set the environment mapping mode to spherical environment. When using spherical or cylindrical environment mapping, it is important to flip the image horizontally. Failure to do so will mirror the image horizontally, since you'd be looking at it from inside the sphere or cylinder. Flipping the image horizontally is done by changing U tiling to minus 1. Zero out the blur value so that the background image remains sharp. The blur minimum value is in fact 0.01. If you are using objects with an applied matte shadow reflection shader, it is important to instance the environment to the camera map background channel. At this time, the panorama is used both as a background and for reflection purposes. The reflections on the boat are very sharp giving it a pronounced chrome-like appearance. Blurring the reflection at this point would also blur the background. Try using a blur offset value of 0.1 to see the results. The reflections on the boat are softer, blurred, but we lost the background. The environment background switcher bypasses that problem. Set the blur offset value back to zero. At this time, the environment map consists of a bitmap you instance into the material editor. Change the bitmap type to an environment background switcher shader. Notice how this is a mental ray shader and will not work with the scanline render. Make sure you keep the old map as a submap, since you still want the panorama to display as a background. Make a copy of the background into the Environment Reflections channel. Make sure you use Copy, since you will edit its parameters. The background needs to be sharp, but the reflections toned down. Go to the map you just copied and use a small blur offset value, such as 0.1. Render again and notice the soft reflections on the boat. The reflections are blurred, but the background is still in focus, thanks to the switcher.